And today I thought I'd show you my routine for loading my e-bike onto my homemade rack, which is on the back of my weekend mobile, my Jeep. Have you ever done something just a little different from your normal routine? Then, because the routine wasn't quite right, things were kind of messed up for the rest of the day. For me, in most of my activities, I like to follow a consistent routine. Now I've been told that's because I'm an anal engineer that likes to plan everything. And even though I'm a retired engineer, I'm still an engineer and I do like to plan everything. But really, I think it's because generally when I follow one of my established routines, things generally go pretty well. On the other hand, when I don't follow my routines, things tend to go wrong or almost go wrong. Even some simple routines that, that I don't follow can, can cause aggravation. Things like not putting your keys or your phone in the same place every day, that can lead to getting locked out of your house or leaving your house and having to turn around and go back home to get your phone or whatever you left. And I'm sure that's probably true for you or someone you know. That's why when I load my bike onto my homemade bike rack, I'd like to do everything in the same order every single time I load up. I always strap down the rear tire first, then the front tire, then the top tube. Notice the three-point tie-down setup with uh, heavy-duty ratchet and cam straps. This is so even if the tires go flat, the bike is still securely attached to the rack. I've used this same loading routine for over 25 years and I haven't had any problems when I follow that routine. But when I've deviated, I've had some near misses that could have totaled my bike. Once the bike is secure, we can drive to the riding location feeling confident the bike will be there when we arrive. Also, just a hint or, or a note safety factor here, I never have the battery mounted on the bike when it's being transported on the bike rack. I always, always, always keep it inside the weekend mobile. This makes the bike much lighter, keeps the battery out of the weather, and it's all around much more secure. Of course, once we arrive, we get in a great ride, we being my e-bike and I. So when it's time to leave, the entire process is repeated in the same order.
then we can feel good about letting the weekend mobile run. So this is my my tie down process for putting my e-bike on the back of the weekend mobile and you know I I'd, I'd like to hear your routine or if you even have a routine or if you just wing it out there let me know <laughs>